Now, I rarely do content on one specific video game, but today I do want to talk about Spy Party, a two-player competitive game that offers a complete reconstruction of what could be considered a sport. Hear me out. In this indie creation by Chris Hackett, the player has two options, to be either a sniper parked outside a building, trying to identify the target, or being a spy, mingling in a party amongst a bunch of guests who are AI bots. The spy wins by completing a few tasks without being identified. The sniper only has one bullet and wins by either shooting the correct target, the spy, or the spy's time runs out. There are around 24,000 people worldwide playing this game with a core group of 1,000 regular online players. What is fascinating here is that the point of competition is understanding human behavior. The sniper is essentially tasked with recognizing organic human movement amongst all the perfectly made AI figurines. Spy Party may only be one example, but it opens a huge question about gaming being used in understanding mental traits. Sports currently are so limited by physical endurance or perhaps games where memory and sequencing are crucial like chess. But what if we expanded this competition to fields never thought of before as sport? Games could be an astonishing vehicle for that. In Spy Party, players not rewarded for their agility, aim or even assets they hold. The only skill required is guessing other person's behavior, calling their bluff. If there were league tables and tournaments readily available, one could trace the individual's best navigating the psychological maze. With the AI abilities improving every year, we can now imagine a new generation of electronic sports that are based purely on human behavior. Who is the best at lying or guessing lies? Who is best on recognizing personal suffering? Or who is best at manipulating or providing empathy? The possibilities are endless. I predict that esports, as we understand them right now, fast-paced shooters, fighting games, even card games, they're not going to be the only competitive forms of gaming. An entire new discipline of mental, psychological competitive games may appear, and Spy Party is just a preview of that. Whether that is opening accessibility to sports or producing a code for emotions is another debate, but nonetheless an interesting field to follow. You watch Left Left Up with me, Marianne Dijkelvita. Go like, retweet, follow, etc. Ta-da!